Hey. Hmm? Have you heard of a rare Australian bird called Umagula Goo? No, why? Because there's one nesting in the church roof. Don't be ridiculous. I'll bet you a pound. Look, don't throw away your money like that. No, you're right. I'm being silly. <laughs> ah, you've had second thoughts, haven't you? <laughs> Could you make that a fiver instead? <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to the show. <laughs> Basil, I said hello and welcome to the show. A show? Are we going to a show? Cool. Hope it's not words or gummit. I can't stand scarecrows. <laughs> Basil, <laughs> this show. Oh, hey, oh. What are you reading? Huh? Well, this? I'm doing a bit of swatting up. I've been invited onto a quiz show. Really? Yes, mastermind. <laughs> oh, just call me Billy. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I call you next week. Perhaps you'll be feeling better then. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, Basil. Yeah. Are you trying to tell me that you have been invited onto Mastermind? You? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You may scoff, you deranged Dubliner. <laughs> <laughs> but just ask me one question from this book. Go on, go on, ask all me right, a question. All right, yes. I'll pick a question all right, at random, on, then. all right? Off you go. right? Finish this famous quotation. OK. To be or not to... <laughs> oh, that's a hard one. To be or not to... Uh, give us a clue. Think of a letter. Ah, to be or not to pillar box. <laughs> <laughs> not that kind of letter. I'm talking about letters of the alphabet. Oh, I see. To be or not to Z. <laughs> oh, look, I'm just not getting through to you. No, no. Let's try another time. All right, then, right. Um, think of an insect. Yes. An insect that buzzes. Buzzes, 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 I've got it, I've got it! To be or not to blue bottle! Oh, look, it's to be or not to be. Are you sure you want to go on Mastermind? Well, it's not my fault. You keep throwing hard ones at me. All right, let's try another one. Are you ready? Yes, yes. I'm brewing beer. Right. Right? I have the hops. Have the hops. I have the malt. The malt. What else do I have? Your mother. <laughs> How did my mother get in there? It'd be hard to keep her out if she knows you're brewing beer, I tell you. Please. Please. Yeah, you can, she can hear the bottle opening downwind at 400 paces. <laughs> That's it, Basil. Forget yeah. about it. You're making a mockery of the whole oh, thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No more jokes about your mother. Sorry, Mrs Boyle. Top of the brewery to you. <laughs> Basil, <laughs> now, now, be warned. Here's another question. Yes, all right. Who said this? That's another fine mess you've got me into. Maggie Thatcher talking to herself. <laughs> <laughs> of Laurel and Hardy. I was close. <laughs> you were not. <laughs> oh. Look, Basil, you don't stand a chance. Yeah, that's what my agent keeps telling me. You're probably right, Mr Billy. I don't suppose you'd care to take my place, would you? Me? Oh, no, I couldn't. Of course you could. You've got more brains in your little finger than in the rest of your whole body. Oh, uh, thank you. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I'll ask you a few questions. Oh, I dear. must warn you, though, they won't be easy. Oh, dear. Yeah. Right, here we go. <clears throat> Right. Name? Pass. <laughs> Who invented the steam engine? What? Correct. <laughs> Name a small town beginning with W. It's near Har Hartford. Where? Correct. <laughs> Name the former and famous pop group with Roger Daltrey. Who? Correct. <laughs> Name a river on the borders of Wales. <laughs> I started, so I'll finish. <laughs> Name a river on the borders of Wales. I can only give you ten seconds for this one. Why? Correct! Right. <laughs> oh, Mr. Billy, I'm very impressed. Yeah? You sure you come from Ireland? <laughs> <laughs> you're brilliant. Oh, you're just saying that. I've got to, it's in the script. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, here's your ticket to New Guinea. Oh, wow. 
what do I want a ticket to New Guinea for? I'm going on Mastermind. That's right, they started a version in New Guinea. <laughs> Your canoe lives in four to five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and watch out for the cannibals. They like their steaks thick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Basil, just for that, I'm going to introduce our special guest. Oh, no, week. you're not. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, oh, well, I am. Oh, get on with it. We'll be here all night. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our special guest, Lena Zavaroni. Whee! Lena, it's lovely to meet you. Oh, thank you, Billy. Yes, it's lovely to meet you, Miss Minestrone. <laughs> Basil, please. The name is Zavaroni. Really? When did you change it? <laughs> Me? I'm sorry about this, Lena. I should think so. Let's face it, you've got a lot to be sorry for, Mick. I tell you. <laughs> oh, it's all right, really. But why don't you call me by my first name? Oh, that's very kind of you, Miss Lino. <laughs> <laughs> He's done it again. Have I? Actually, the name's Lena. Oh, I do beg your pardon. I've got a terrible memory for names. Strange, really, because I can remember a lot of things as if they happened yesterday. Oh, what sort of things? The ones that happened yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> a chap I know named his baby after Mr. Billy's mother. <laughs> Said it looked just like her. Really? Yes, bald, no teeth and always on the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you always having a go at my mother and she's lovely? Look, I mean, this is ridiculous, Basil. Yeah? And in front of our guest as well. Oh, did you want to have a go at her too? <laughs> Basil, please, now apologise. I'm very sorry, Miss Looney. <laughs> <laughs> You're just hopeless with names, you know, Basil. Huh? Hey, but that's given me a very good idea. Goodness me, that makes one in a row. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever thought of the number of songs that have either a boy or a girl's name in the title? Well, there must be thousands. Yeah, well, why don't we sing some of them? Uh, you take the boys' names, uh, and Basil and I will concentrate on the girls. Hang about, I'm not concentrating on any girls. They go in for all that kissing and cuddling. <laughs> and they cost you money. <laughs> Listen, I'm just talking about the names. Oh. Don't you think it's a good idea? No, I don't. Oh, come on, Basil. Yeah. That's because you don't know any. Uh, listen, Irish coffee, you just try me. Go on, try me. <laughs> all right, you ready, Lena? Right. He's just my bill. Ah, nice. An ordinary guy. Ah. You meet him That's on the button. street and never notice him. Mm-hmm. I love you, Samantha, and my That's love good. will never die. Oh, and he'll die, and he'll die, and he'll die, and he'll die. Oh, I'm just wild about Harry, and Harry's Wait. wild about me. Cause once in love with Amy, Amy. Oh. always in love. Red, red, bum, 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 in a long, and battle. That's terrible. What? Michael Rowe, the ball at no, show. No, no. Enchanted evening. <laughs> you may see a stranger. Hang on, hang on a minute. What, what is that? What is that all about? Simon Chanted Evening? I mean, that's not even a girl's name. I know, we're very worried about Simon. <laughs> <laughs> We've uh, cut him out, he can't think of any. Listen, Shamrock, that's just where you're wrong. I couldn't make up my mind between Carol Me Back to Old Virginia, or Daisy Wine and Roses, or Long Ago and Father Fawcett Majors. <laughs> you see, you can't think of a proper one, Lena. I can, and it's especially for Miss Lena. For me? Yes. Lena, is there anyone here <laughs> in the state of Carolina? Oh, Basil, that's cheating. What? Well, so's the last song. What's that? What else? All together now. Hey! She's making eyes at me. Be my honey bee. Every minute he gets bolder. Now they're leaning on the shoulder. My, she's kissing me.
Basil, have you done those jobs I asked you to do? Yes, Mr. Billy. Yeah, I spilled a pool of coffee onto table three. Great. I dropped two dead flies in the sugar on table four. Fabulous. And I've made sure that every sauce bottle has a dribble of dried sauce down the outside. <laughs> 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 Fantastic. I say, Mr. Billy. Yeah? I'm going to put this as politely and tactfully as I possibly can. Well, you're balmy. <laughs> no, Basil, you don't understand. Huh? This has always been my ambition. Really? To run a typically British snack bar. Oh, yeah? You know, stale buns, weak tea, meat pie with added gristle. Oh. oh, I've had all the correct training, Basil. Where? The BBC canteen? Look <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh, it's that new pop-up toaster again. I thought you were going to fix it. Look out! <laughs> Oh, no, the last time it hit a policewoman. Where? Bristol. <laughs> Basil. Hey, I'll fix it later, eh? Yeah. I must get the washing up done as well. Well, don't forget to save the water. The tea urn needs filling. <laughs> What's that? We can expect a visit from the public health inspector today. He'll close you down. Oh, not necessarily. Not if we're extra polite to him. Oh. In any case, it's not too bad in here. Yeah. You can eat your breakfast off that floor. Oh, I suppose you could eat your breakfast off the floor, if you like bacon, eggs and mud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Hello, fuzzy face. Hello, greasy gilt. <laughs> Do you know who I am? I know who you're not. Who? The public health inspector. <laughs> I happen to be the big noise round here. Have you tried fruit salt? Hey! <laughs> you just watch it, mate. Now, unless you cough up with a share of the takings and be very quiet about who I am. Hey! What the heck's that? It's a toaster! He was gonna fix it! Look out! Look out! <laughs> <laughs> Customer. I, I, I know, Mr. Billy. Uh, no, uh, 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 well, this, uh, oh, well, this gentleman's special. Oh, I see. Yes, we've been expecting you. Oh, no, we haven't, Mr. Billy. No, no, of course we haven't been expecting you. None's as good as a wing to a blind horse, eh? Well, 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 well. Uh. <laughs> stop wearing this type of aftershave. Seems to attract idiots. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to see first, eh? Lolly. Lolly. Mr. Billy. S certainly, sir. Oh, Mr. What? Billy. Mr. Billy. Not now. I'm tied up, Basil. You will be in a minute, mate, I tell you. Listen, mate. Yeah? I want a bit of the old, uh, salt. Certainly, sir. Oh, please, Mr. Billy. He doesn't want salt. But he's asking for it, Basil. Oh, he's not the only one, I tell you. <laughs> Here you are. Look, mate. You own this place, right? Right. Well, I want a slice. A slice? A slice. Ah, oh, you've seen the gatto. I can't blame you, sir. It's delicious. Ooh, Here you are, I'm sir. I'm not going to watch this. I can't stand the sight of blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 I say, greasy kills. What about a couple of bananas for his ears? Right. <laughs> I'll be back. Ooh. Thank you, Sir Jeffrey Howe. Ooh, ooh. I say, Mr. Billy, take that lolly out of your mouth. You sound like Melvin Bragg with a head cold. <laughs> <laughs> what went wrong? Mm, not enough salt on the lollipop, I think. <laughs> but, Basil, that wasn't the public health inspector. No, Mr. Billy, that was a crook selling protection. Crook, eh, Basil? Yes, oh, yes. wait till I get my hands on one of them. Oh, I better clean up, Basil. I yeah, better clean up. Quite right. Your face looks like the inside of an Avon lady's handbag. <laughs> <laughs> Poor old Mr. Billy. He won't make the same mistake next time. Uh, I wonder what mistake he will make next time. Mr. Billy had a cafe once in Ireland. He used to close for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Is this supposed to be a cafe? Yes, what's the matter? Dust not properly cooked? <laughs> oh! Kiss that woman! I have not fixed it yet! Look out! <laughs> uh, high flying toast! <laughs> Smash through the police station window. Yeah, it's a serious case to toast and buttery. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the proprietor here? No, tell me. Do you like a bit of a joke? Yes. I'll call him Mr. Billy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, PHI. Oh, I see. Public health inspector, right? That's right. Yeah. Don't you tell the proprietor. Yeah. Otherwise, I promise you, I will close this place down. Ah, another customer. I don't know, Mr. Billy. Yeah? Uh, this is one of those uh, men we were talking about. Oh, I see. 
Come here, you! <laughs> you slimy little worm! What can I get for you, eh? You go on like that and you'll get six months. <laughs> I just want to inspect your surfaces. You want to inspect it? Fine, come yes, here now. Surfaces come are... on. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Billy! Uh, I, I just want to taste your products. You want to taste? Of course yes. you may. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'd stop that if I were you, Mr. Billy. No, Basil, he's just tasting our products. Oh. Oh, say, would you like a knuckle sandwich to follow? <laughs> I want to see your garbage disposal! Of course! <laughs> Come on, my <laughs> dear boy! <laughs> ah, that's the way to deal with them, Basil. Hey, I've shown them how we dispose of our garbage, that's right? That's true, Mr. Billy. But is it, huh? That's the way to deal with crooks, Basil. Ah, oh, but is it the way to deal with public health inspectors? <laughs> but that's not the. Huh? Yes, it is. Oh, Basil. Yeah? I'm finished. I'll no. have to close down. I could shoot myself. Have a cup of tea. No. Did you hear me? I said I could shoot myself. No, have a cup of tea. It's cheaper and the result's the same. <laughs> Go! I thought you were going to fix that toaster. I did fix it. Look out! <laughs> hey, you fixed yeah. it! <laughs> Welcome for Miss Lena Zavaroni.
Basil, yeah. we're about to land on the planet Zog. Oh. This is historical. It's hysterical. <laughs> Basil. Yeah. I'm nervous. Nervous? I'm nervous too. I'm as nervous as a crocodile in a handbag factory. <laughs> oh, Basil. Yes. What can I have for a shaky liver? A plate of shaky onions, please. Basil, <laughs> listen, we have to find out what happened on this planet yes. in order to fulfil our mission. Yes. So we have to find out what happened through your uncle's log. That's a very good idea and about time. Right, come on. Here we go. Oh, there we are. Uncle Mort, the astronaut. Yes. Captain's log, USS Starship Nimrod. Yeah. Tenth day of the mission. Yeah. There I was in the palace of the planets, yeah. searching for the princess. Yes. I heard a royal voice talking about butlers, yes. tea sets, and asking, would you like one lump or two? Oh, I know who that is. Who? Princess Anne talking to her horse. <laughs> <laughs> I managed to yes. run towards the Princess Ambrosia, yes. who was in this room that was full of the robots yes. and all the other races. My uncle went to the races once. Very embarrassing. He bent down to tie his shoelace, a jockey jumped on his back, and he won the 2.30. <laughs> and there he stood, yes. black helmeted yeah. and black cloaked. Oh, I'm black eyed. No. Yes. His voice rasped out through the grating of his helmet. Yes. He thundered and raged. Oh, like Ian Paisley. No. <laughs> I will eliminate you, he oh, snarled. It's, it's Tony Benn. <laughs> he pressed a switch. Yes. Now the electricity started, yeah. and something was humming. Oh, I know who that is. Yeah? She never stops humming. Yeah, I know who it is, yes, if yeah. I didn't know as well. Dirty Gertie from number 30! <laughs> <laughs> you stupid earthworm! Hey, watch it, watch it. <laughs> no, not you, Basil. Oh, it's Bart Vapor speaking oh. to your Uncle Mort, the oh. astronaut. Oh, I'm such you silly stupid battle. earthworm! Yes. yes. What I have just switched on are. Blackpool lights. <laughs> Laser beams and cosmic rays. Oh. They're appalling combinations. That's what Auntie said when Uncle showed her his long underpants. <laughs> <laughs> eh? Good morning, good sir. Good morning, Forby. Top of the morning, sir. At all, at all, <laughs> at all. <laughs> uh. The poor princess is there as part of the puppet government. And I can't stand the puppets. Spit. spit. <laughs> hey, steady on. That's a basil brush bit, you fool. Profuse apologies, sir. I suppose she is a princess. I mean, she has got blue blood. Of course she's got blue blood. You can only get blue blood by being royal. A princess again and again said I'm not a princess to some men. But everyone knew that her blood had gone blue. Because she sat on a big fountain pen. <laughs> <laughs> After that, I must descend. If you're Irish. Bye <laughs> bye, Forky. I looked at the other robots advancing on me, yes. and I needed a little time to think. While you're thinking, I'll give you another mm, limerick. <laughs> there was a small goldfish named Pinky who went for a swim in the sinky. When out came the plug, he whispered, Glug, glug. I'll be all at sea in a winky. <laughs> <laughs> the princess yes her lovely face yeah. her beautiful figure yes. her fabulous legs yeah. and I decided to ask for her hand ask for her hand <laughs> when the rest is the best <laughs> <laughs> I could tell she was shy like my granny she always puts a cover over the budgie's cage when she takes off her bodice What's a bodice? It's the part between her top and her bottom. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she had a Chinese friend. There was an old woman from China who went to sea on a liner. She fell off the deck and twisted her neck, and now I can see right behind her. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't like that. I'll kill that scriptwriter. <laughs> now, yes. how was I to know this room was really an arsenal? Uh -huh. How was I to know the arsenal was so powerful? Oh, well, they've got Graham Ricks, Brian Talbot, Pat Jennings, Frank Stapleton... Uh, uh, and Uncle Tom Cobley and all. No, he plays for Manchester City. <laughs> <laughs> there was a flash from the laser gun. Yes, yes. And the others called out, We must surrender! Oh! <laughs> I begged them to follow me to our spaceship, but oh no! Oh no! I 
Antonio. No. No, all right, don't get your pants in a pandemonium. I was the only one of the crew to return to planet Earth. Oh, my Uncle Mort was the only one that came back. Right. Oh. So that is the end of my story. Oh. But if you wish to hear what happened yeah. to the others, yeah. hey, oh. look at this, Basil. Huh? Oh. If you wish to know what happened to the others, activate the memory bank computer. But oh. it's not working. Ah, then replace the upper integrator module with the Mark II panel invented by Hermann and Johann von Beer. Yes. And then replace the lower integrator module parts with the Mark III panel invented by Adolf von Beer. Well, why, Basil? Because it refreshes the parts the other beers cannot reach. There <laughs> 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 we are. Hey, look at this. What is it? Cool. Well, oh. Whose is it? Yes. I'll give you one, one guess. Cool. What a terrible <laughs> oh, blue man, eh? Basil. Oh. This is incredible. Look on the label. Look on yes. this. Let's on... have a look. Yeah. Hey, hey, there's writing on it, Basil. Yeah. Have a look here. Huh. Hey, oh. What does Mi it say? This is the property of Mrs. Gertie O'Shea. Dirty Gertie. Oh, Mr. Billy. Oh, Basil, go it's on. It's Dirty Gertie's dirty shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's all that's left of her. Oh, Basil, would you like a handkerchief? No, I want a gas mask. <laughs> <laughs> yes. oh. Basil, what yeah. does it say? Huh? It's a clothes encounter of the worst kind. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's got some writing on it. Yes. Let's have a look. Ah, uh, here is my message to planet Earth from all of us on the planet Zog. May the force hit you where you least expect it. <laughs> this piece of fabric you'll be able to flog because it comes all the way from the planet Zog. Lord yeah. Quango, ruler of Zog, full of hatred, passion yeah. and malice, yeah. married the Princess Ambrosia and they're living it up at the palace. Captain Burke married Andrea, the bald-headed android, and from those two, not another void was hoid. <laughs> Mr. Smock has met a planet girl yes. and lives in married bliss. Yes. He's mad about her cos her ears are even more pointed than his. <laughs> and Sid Foster found a planet girl. She's stupid and she's dim. But she looks just like Racco Welsh, so there's no flies on him. <laughs> hey, there's a bit more here, Basil. Look. Oh, but what about Dirty Gertie, whose life was on the skids? She. Oh. What's the matter? She married Bath Vapor, Lord of the Filth. <laughs> and, and now, now they've, they've got, got 17, 17 kids. kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's the end, but we mustn't get shirty. Our tale has a moral that's true. So if you look like Dirty Gertie, there's a mate waiting for you. Here we are floating through outer space. The laser beams flashing at every place. The computers may register zero. You'll never find a more fabulous hero than Battle Brush and his friend. We, we will win. Thank you.